It's so good to have you back to continue this language journey with me. Uh, we are continuing on learning about Montessori language and today we're going to be exploring early grammar. Now if you missed the first two videos, those were the pink series and the blue series, I'm going to add those links in the description below and I would suggest that you watch them so that it'll help you to better understand what we're talking about today. Like I had mentioned before, Montessori language is divided into four groups, the pink series, the blue series, early grammar and the green series. We are going to focus today on early grammar. The early grammar in Montessori is still completely phonetic. There are no non-phonetic words. So basically, early grammar is a combination of words that we would use in the pink series and the blue series. We are going to be introducing children here to the singular and plurals, to nouns, to articles, to adjectives, to verbs, and to prepositions and we're doing this all in a very concrete way. It's a lot of fun. Children love these activities and I'm excited to talk to you about them as well. Now the first thing that we do is we introduce our children to the singular and plural box. Okay, We have items in here that are phonetic. Okay, I'm just going to show you a few. I've got a stick and some sticks, I've got some stamps, I've got buttons, I've got buds, I've got hats. All of these words are either pink series or blue series and basically the children have to read and match to the ones which are singular and the ones which are plural. And as they do this, they're understanding that by adding on an S through work with this activity, they're learning that by adding on an S they will get the plural of this noun. Then we come to introducing a noun and we teach children that nouns are names of people, places and things. What Maria Montessori uses to introduce children to grammar are the farm animals. Why do we use the farm animals? Because there are a lot of phonetic objects that you can find on a farm. For example, on a Montessori phonetic farm, we would have a cock, a pig, a hen, a dog, a pup, a cat, a piglet. All of these words are phonetic. I cannot have a horse because that's not a phonetic word. The child would not be able to read it. I cannot have a sheep. I cannot have a cow. All of these words are non-phonetic. So we restrict ourselves to using only those animals. The first step would be to identify the animals read the names of the nouns and match them. The next step after that would be to introduce an adjective and tell them the adjective tells us what these nouns look like. They tell us what these farm animals look like. And again, we have only phonetic adjectives, words like fat, big, plump. And we would ask them, so which animal do you think looks fat? Can you match it? And so now they're learning to match an adjective. Then we add an article, it could be the, it could be a, and then we finally introduce them to the verbs. Now the verbs are introduced as action words. They tell us what these animals are doing. They tell us what the nouns are doing. So we have only phonetic verbs. For example, we have words like runs, swims, stands, jumps, and we ask them, which animal do you think jumps on this farm? And they match it. So now they've collected so many speech parts. And the beauty is that in Montessori, everything has a color coding. Nouns are black, adjectives are royal blue, articles are gray, verbs are red. So they are learning also when they look at their sentence, the words that they built up, they look at it and they are able to identify the speech parts. And these speech parts, the color coding continues on into elementary. So once they have learned it in preschool, again it will be reinforced. The same colors will go for nouns, adjectives and so on. In fact, we have an amazing elementary 
uh, language course that introduces children to all the speech parts. It's a wonderful course. If you'd like to know more about that, I will add the link to that in the description below and you can click on that to find out more if you'd like to explore further with your children. The last material that we have in early grammar for preschool is the preposition box. Prepositions, we teach the children are position words. They tell us where the noun is. Now in this particular preposition box, I have two nouns, that's a pig and some mud. And we place the pig in different places and we ask the children to find the correct preposition. Where is the pig? It's on the mud. Can you find the correct preposition? Where is the pig? It's next to the mud. Can you find the correct preposition and build a sentence? So now they're learning one more speech part and the color coding for prepositions is like a forest green. So all our prepositions are written here on forest green colored paper and they're able to pick it out in a sentence. And as I said before, these color codings repeat into uh, later grammar when they are in first grade in elementary school. So I hope you've enjoyed learning about early grammar. It's very easy to put these materials together. Like I said before, Montessori language is something that you can put together in a snap. You can buy these animals. They're easy to source and you just have to print out the cards. You can make boxes, you can paint them, you can stick something on top so that they follow the color coding. I hope you have fun trying these activities out. If you face challenges, you know you can drop your comments in the box below and I'm happy to help you out. Even if you have successes, share that with us even more. I would love to hear back from you. I'll be coming back to explore the very final part of Montessori language, which is the green series. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the video. And I look forward to seeing you. Until we meet again, have a very beautiful day.